what has long been considered a controversial treatment is helping patients in Mississippi feel better. It's adult stem cell therapy. Karen Abernathy tells you about it in tonight's Health Watch Report. Stem cells are your body's natural healing cells, and using them in concentrated form appears to be making a difference in many patients' lives. Tonight, we talked to a Mississippi woman getting relief from arthritis and fibromyalgia, thanks to stem cell therapy, being done at the Mississippi Stem Cell Treatment Center in Ocean Springs. This is life-changing. I have my life back. Those are words Claudia Gray from Brandon, Mississippi, never thought she would say. The pain from arthritis and fibromyalgia had become so severe she had to retire from her job as a public school teacher. It hurt all the time. No matter what you did, no matter what type of pain meds you took, you were still in pain. But she says stem cell therapy has turned her life around. Claudia and her husband Roger traveled to Ocean Springs for the therapy a few months ago. The retired art teacher wanted to be able to hold a paintbrush again. Seeing lots more flexibility soon. Uh -huh. How about that? That's great. That's and great. as encouraging as that is, the arthritis improvements are only half the story. Claudia says her debilitating fibromyalgia pain disappeared within 24 hours of the treatment. I was getting out of the bed and realizing for the first time in years that I was not in pain. Even her doctor was amazed. I saw her a month later and I was flabbergasted at what she had told me, she said. Dr. Hazim Barmada is a cardiovascular and thoracic surgeon who started working with stem cell therapy two years ago. It's not only used to treat arthritis and autoimmune diseases, but countless others, including neurological conditions like Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis. So adult stem cells are everywhere. Dr. Barmada takes the stem cells from the patient's own body, from fat, where the highest concentration is. He says there are about a million stem cells in just one gram of fat. This actually is a model of what it would be like after we put it in the uh, centrifuge. The collected stem cells are separated from the fat in this centrifuge and then re-injected, in Claudia's case, directly into her arthritic hand and foot, plus intravenously. But if you concentrate them and put them where they are needed, then they will actually do miracles. They will actually go to work. They may form cartilage, uh, bone, any tissue you like. It was a last resort for Claudia, who says improved flexibility and decreased pain have given her a new lease on life. Your whole outlook on life is totally different. You feel like being, you know, you feel like being around people. You feel like socializing. You feel like doing things. Now, Dr. Varmada says it's important for patients to know that stem cell therapy is not a first-line treatment. It's for people who have already tried standard treatments for their condition. And because it's still considered investigational, it is currently not covered by insurance. But he thinks, because of all the success stories, that will change in the very near future. Christina?